Horus is a thief and a bit of a scoundrel. And, uh, and he kind of just does whatever pleases him. He doesn't have many rules he lives by. The only real rule or credo that he abides by is his loyalty to his best friends, Cruella and Jasper. I mean, I don't think I can say it any better than, than Paul just did then, to be honest. Uh, I guess, yeah. There's, I mean, what can I say to talk about? That's, that's basically what my character is also except possibly a, a quite a bit cooler than, than Horace, obviously. But, um, but yeah, pretty much the same, but just cooler, more clever, more kind of, more up, no, more ear to the ground knowing what's going on. The character, Horace, not Joel. Plus more. Making money, having a blast, laughing and playing pretend on a Disney set. I think uh, that's... One fourth of why I entered the acting business is to play make believe and get paid to have a lot of fun and help other people have fun. Yeah, I mean that question always stumps me to be honest because it paints a picture like like I'm sat somewhere and someone goes, "Hey, Joel, do you want to be in a Disney film?" And I'm like, "Well, well, maybe I'll look tomorrow. I'll have a look tomorrow." And then I'm kind of drawn. I'm kind of drawn to it. And I'm like, "Okay, you know what? I'll do it. Why not? I'll do it." Um, I was drawn because it sounded like it was going to be good, basically. And, and you know, they had already had good people attached. But luckily, it is actually good, because you never know, do you, until the end. I felt, I felt like I knew it was going to be a good movie early on. I just had an instinct, which I haven't really felt many times, other than Cruella and maybe two other things. But... Um, I thought from the get-go, this was something, if I'm going to do a Disney movie, I'd be very lucky to do this one. This is, you know, the type of Disney movie I would, I would love to do. I want to do this, you know. Emma, Emma Stone is really talented. I love her work in, I love her work in everything from Superbad to Easy A, Easy A to freaking La La Land and The Favorite. I just think she never wastes a performance. She's always brilliant. And uh, to get to play her buddies in the movie, I think we both uh, we both enjoyed it. It wasn't it wasn't hard to get along with her and to work with her. She was very easy to work with. That was awesome. You like this sense of humor, right? You got it pretty quickly, right? Hey, I liked I liked what I found quite genuinely special about what about Craig was that the level of concentration was so high, like. There's a lot of steady cam movements and lots of complex things, and it's all about timing. And you have to be super concentrated on, super focused on what's going on. But then to marry that with being kind of loose and improvising, just never, I just doesn't usually happen much. You know, usually it's either quite tense and high focus, or it's really loose and you're kind of making stuff up. But he managed to like get both crossing each other and, and still manage it to be like quite a supportive atmosphere. And that's like, I think that's a special thing with just him, man, because I think he's got, he's one of these guys who can just store this kind of information in his head and has apparently an endless amount of energy. Um, but yeah, I really, I, at one point, I really felt like I was completely buzzed into his head, like I knew what he was after. And that's, that's great, man. I, I could have that forever, basically. I had seen all those movies and thought they were well portrayed, but um, there isn't enough meat on that bone to really make a meal out of. I think any actor, whether you're playing Hamlet or a president or whatever, like you can try to look at what everyone else has done, or you can just do your own interpretation and make it original. Um, I say that. And yet like, <laughs> I like studied Bob Hoskins. So like, I said my take was original, but really I was also just ripping off this other actor. So I don't know, maybe I'm full of it, but I think even though I liked those movies, I wasn't drawing from them to figure out how to play Horace, you know? Uh, yeah, the cartoon is it's great. The, the film, I don't know if I've even seen it, to be honest. I think I've seen bits of it over the years on the TV. Um, I think it's like embedded back there because when you're a kid, you probably watch these things a million times. But the film, not so much. But the cartoon, 
yeah, I, I was into them. Um, I had two arms. Jasper's got two arms. Um, I like my friends. Jasper likes his friends. Jasper plays guitar. Ziggy plays. <laughs> Sorry. Ziggy plays guitar. <laughs> I, I play guitar. Um, yeah. Um, I like being irreverent and breaking rules and being a bit of a pain in the neck. So does Horace. Uh, I live a very unhealthy lifestyle. So does Horace. And I'll basically do anything an attractive, creative, funny woman tells me to do, like Horace. Yo, dudes are going to love this movie. Rock and roll soundtrack. Um, Emma Stone is a freaking powerhouse actor. There's laughter and there's serious moments. There's action. Uh, this movie kind of has a little bit of everything. I think, I think people will really like it. You did say guys, right? Did you say male audience or did I hear that wrong? Yeah, male moviegoers. I think male moviegoers will really like the vibe of the film and the tonality, it kind of feels like a heist movie, you know, it's not just for children. It's definitely also for adults and men and women. And I think Disney plus like subscribers, this is like the movie of the summer, man. This is like the movie. Everybody's going to be watching it. It's super cool. Basically the way Craig's done it, it's just super cool. And I don't think anyone can even argue that really. And that's, you know, across the board, everybody likes that. 